so I'm a little bit late but I am here with my May favorites and i um, really excited because a lot of the products that I have are I purchased them for the first time and so this last month and a half I've really been using them and have incorporated them into my daily routine which really tells you then it's really worth being a favorite so um, some of the products they're um, a little bit more pricey and I feel because of that I should do their own individual reviews on it that way I can go into detail um, give you like a demonstration and that way I don't take up too much time on this video and make it too long anyway my first item is going to be um, unique mascara I know it's also been heard as 3d uh, lash or 3d fiber lash mascara I um, heard about it about a couple of months ago I know it's been out like about two years and I just thought it was really strange that I have not none of the people that I'm subscribed to on YouTube have talked about it and I thought well maybe I've just like been I've kind of been out of it maybe I haven't seen those videos and then I saw it on my Facebook news feed and then I heard that somebody in my office was selling it and so I decided to click a video and I was just blown away by what I saw in the demonstration so um, since I was running out of my mascara I thought it was a perfect time to go ahead and try this product I absolutely love it I was blown away the first time it is so buildable it can be just like natural or you can keep on adding layers and really extend your lashes I mean I, I was just blown away and they don't look fake um, sometimes you know the little there's a little bit of cons to it um, you can apply it if you're going really fast and you don't take the time to separate them they could look spidery I actually don't mind that look but I know there's a lot of people that do and um, you really can't take your you have to take your time with it you have to sit down being a marrow you can't do it like when you're in the car and just slap it on um, if not the fibers will um, sorry um, if not the fibers can get in your eye and um, not that it's painful but you know it's it can be uncomfortable especially me that I have eyelashes of course I have eyelashes. excuse me especially me that has contacts so um, it's a two-step process um, it comes in this really cute um, quilted case. It reminds me of um, what my Chanel glasses came in. So cute. So it comes with a um, transplanting gel and then the second tube is the fibers. The transplanting gel, it's exactly like black mascara. And the fibers, it's, I mean, you pull it out and you can see nothing but baby hair fibers. It's really amazing. And um, I don't know if you can see that if I get really close here. Um, you can see all the little, like fibers sticking out there. Many, 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 many little hairs is what it looks like. Um, but definitely check out that video so I can go into deeper review and help you make a better decision. Okay, next item. Um, oh, by the way, I did pay $30 for this. Some people pay $31, some people pay $29. But um, it's supposed to last 12 weeks. And so far I've used it for a month and a half. And it doesn't feel like, you know... You can tell like when you're with a regular mascara that it's kind of dying out already. No, this one feels like it's full force. So I'm very, very surprised by that. Okay, next item is gonna be a eyeshadow palette. I went to the store looking for specifically a matte eyeshadow palette. I have a bunch of palettes and I feel like they're shimmer overload. And um, for some reason, you know, the shimmer ones, they just um, crease on me really, you know, quicker than a matte shadow does. So I only have a couple of single matte ones um, from MAC and I felt like I kind of wanted to broaden my collection of matte shadows and um, ended up going with the Tartlet by Tarte and um, it is super cute, super cute packaging, huge marrow and then you have these wonderful, wonderful shades. These eyeshadows are super pigmented, they give great color payoff and they last on me. I am so surprised by the end of the day if I've done a real cool um, smoky look with a bunch of different shadows and really put some time into it. I can look at the end of the day and they're not all muddled. They're, it's still there and um, it, that's just really, I love that. I love that. I hate that I put so much effort into some eyeshadows and then, you know, I take a picture, group picture and I'm like, Do I even have, it doesn't even look like I have eyeshadow on. And so this one there, like I said, pigmented, creamy and long lasting. So um, I know there's a bunch of other ones out there. I'm sorry, I have all this makeup on me already. I was swatching earlier. Try to clear that just so I can show you. Um, 
this one, this one, and this one, and we'll go there. And there you have it. It's like a deep purple, mid-tone purple, and like a light lilac -like purple. They're so good. They're like super, super blendable. Um, it's, I love them. If I had to say, you know, a con, I wish there was more like a, a light, medium, mid-tone brown, and I wish there was a gray. And this brown right here, let me show you. It looks really light, right? Um, it always, it's so deceiving. There you go. Like, oh, it ends up, I, I'm doing it to, you know, to do a blend out. And I did it for the first time. And when I did, I was like, oh my God, it was like so dark. And I was not expecting that much payoff from that color. So I would definitely check that out. And I got that Macy's in their new little makeup. I know they're selling all this different makeup now at Macy's. Kind of like a mini Sephora. Okay, my next item is going to be Maybelline Dream Wonder Powder. I have been on a powder kick the last couple of months, and all of them have basically kind of been crap. I mean, they're good for a little bit, and then they end up just like, can't even see that. It doesn't even look like I have powder on my face, or they end up being a little too chalky. And um, this particular product I was watching a makeup geek video she was talking about everything she had on she got really animated when she was talking about it and went into detail and said you got to get this and I decided why not um, won't hurt me and especially being drugstore and a reasonable price I thought it was worth the risk and it paid off I I love it I love it I've been so happy with it I will repurchase it when I run out um, it is the same as the shadows it's like super creamy but it doesn't, um, it's not chalky. I don't, I don't know why I'm swatching it. It's not like if you can see it. But when I put on my foundation and I use this to set it, it my makeup actually looks set. It gives me that matte finish, which I love. I'm a matte girl. And I, I mean, no powder will ever last me all day long. And that's just because of my skin type. And for some reason, my skin, um, it was the last two years has been really good. And it's just decided to you know take a dump on me and I have that extremely oily skin that I had a couple of years ago so um, it's held out though and not until like the end of my day do I have to reapply and you know freshen up but I, I love it only thing again I hate why are they doing that where they put the stupid marrow in the back um, you know when I'm having my purse I'm doing a touch up it just sucks to have to go back and forth um, so that's my only complaint but I love it worth it try it if you're in the market for one um, next item, which is also another drugstore, um, is the Real Techniques um, Shading Brush. I love this brush. It has replaced my MAC. Is it 149? I don't know the number. I forget it. But it almost looks similar to it, except the brush, um, the hairs are a little bit longer. And when they're a little bit longer, it, it seems to me like it grabs more space, which I don't want when I'm trying to really just do the outer V or do like, um, you know, crease work. And this, it just, it fits great. It, um, it's very tight and together. And so it really gets detailed. It goes where you want it and it's controlled. It's not all fluffy and all over the place. And, you know, for certain eye looks, you need this kind of controlled look. Um, and that way you don't move all the colors around. And there are times that you do want it, but, um, in this case, it's um, it works perfect for crease work, and I guess that's why it's called a shading brush. I think this would also be good as a spot concealer. Um, it just feels so soft, and um, I love it. And it's cheap, and I think I paid, I think I paid seven forty nine for it. Okay, next item, of course, I have to talk about it because I love it. It's um, the Sally Hansen Miracle Gel now. Of course, it's been like my favorite for two months in a row, and especially this color, Graffiti Two Sixty. It is perfect for like beach, water, tanning. It just makes you pop. It makes your nails and your toes pop, and especially when you have some color. And it just looks so fresh and clean. And it's not like white, 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 but um, you know, it has that slate gray, which really kind of, it's not too poppy where just your, you know, it's just the right color. So I love it. Um, I took it off. I had it on for so long. And um, yeah, time to repaint. So there you go. Next item is going to be a hair product item. It's Mark Anthony Strictly Curls. I love to rotate hair products. Um, 
I've never been like faithful to one. I always just rotate, I rotate my shampoos, I rotate my mousses, I rotate my hairsprays. And um, I've been in the market for like something really good, you know, and this just kind of jumped at me. I'd never seen it before. And what the reason why I chose it was because I saw this little um, note here and it says humidity shield. And here in Texas, we have had just like ridiculous weather um actually suffered a lot of devastation from all the rains um which is so sad um yeah it's just been really so devastating um but of course the weather it's just been like humid as hell and it's so thick and sticky and gross and so um i definitely wanted to try this out and it's really really worked well and um it does really eliminate a lot of the frizz it keeps my hair um, my curls tight but it doesn't look wet and it doesn't make them hard and cr crunchy so that's always a plus and it has a lemony smell um, which is always very nice and this was I think I paid nine dollars it was a little bit higher than you know the normal Pantene or Dove that I pay for around four four fifty but um, it's worth it and it seems to really last I've been using it every day and um, there still seems to be a lot in there so great product and um, all of these have actually been first timers except the Miracle Gel Nail. So that's pretty that's pretty good. I'm really excited that all these products that I got actually um, been really loving them. So my final favorite is going to be a DIY, which is a do-it-yourself project. If you watch my channel or if you're familiar with my videos, um, I love crafts. I love makeup, I love photography, and I love crafts. And I love do-it-yourself projects. And I have a, a couple of videos on there with fun projects. And of course, I don't um, claim to come up with them, but I do see something and uh, get inspired by it and try to recreate it and um, find my own version of you know doing it myself. So this is super super easy. It's not even funny. Got my son's uh, first haircut. Of course, this was a couple months ago um, after he turned one. And my husband was adamant that he was going to go to a real barber shop, not this foo foo balloons and ribbons, um, you know, little place. So he went to his barber shop and had never been there. And um, it was the coolest place ever. I think it was called Los Barberos. Um, it's over here. Um, if you're in San Antonio, it's by the airport. Um, off of um, San Pedro and McCarty Street. Anyway, um, the place is so awesome. It's such a guy's guy's place. And when they were getting ready to cut my son's hair, he bust this water bottle out. And my eyes popped and like I was there with my camera taking a million pictures and oh my god, I just thought this was the coolest thing ever. And I'm thinking, why, why did I not think of that? I mean like it's, uh, it's, I don't understand. It's so easy. So all you have to do a quick DIY is go to your dollar store, get a spray bottle, Take the top of your spray bottle off. Get a bottle of liquor or your favorite spirit. Um, this is a large bottle of Jack Daniels. There's actually a smaller one. And um, my husband's 30th, this is what we had, so this is what I used. But I think I will try to get a smaller one because this is a little too big. Um, and I do need a longer pump. So double check that too, depending on the size of bottle you use. But it is like, I guess it's like a standard top. So you put your top in and use it and you got a water bottle I mean this just looks better than that cheap plastic crap and um, I don't know it's just the coolest thing and I can't stop saying cool and um, it's definitely um, you get a lot of attention it, it stirs up a lot of conversation when you have parties or get-togethers I have this in my restroom and in the kitchen and um, I love it so definitely think of all the different things that you can repurpose um, with these bottles because I love glass I love vases and bottles and stuff like that so there you go I hope you enjoyed this favorite video please keep a lookout I am still running with that party planning 101 and I should have my next video up in about two days so thank you so much for watching and uh, please subscribe if you haven't it's free that way you get notice um, or notifications when I have any new videos up and I uh, look forward to seeing you in my next video take care everybody bye this is a small square vase. I love square. I think it's very classic. Um, and I recommend getting clear 